Hello everyone, welcome to Kajiano Easy Math. We have here exponential equation to solve. X divided by 5 to the power of X is equal to 5 to the power of 5 is square. And we're looking for the value of X. And before we start, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate. Thank you. And now let's start solving the equation. So we'll write the equation again. That is X divided by 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 5 is squared. And from here, the left side of the equation can be written the same way as x to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2. So from here, we multiply the whole equation by 5 to get rid of that denominator. So we multiply it by 5 to the power of x, I should say. So that's the whole equation. So this is now x to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 5 squared times 5 to the power of x. Simplify the right side of the equation. This is now 5 raised to the 5 squared plus x. And this is x to the power of x. And from here, we're using the uh, law of a common logarithm that is now log of x to the power of x to the base 5 equals log of 5 raised to 5 square plus x and this is to the base 5 so the formula that is log of uh, a to base b exponent x is equal to x log of a base b so we're putting the uh, exponent as coefficient so the equation now becomes the exponent x goes down as coefficient so this is now x log of x to the base 5 equals the exponent goes down as the coefficient this is now 5 squared plus x times logarithm of 5, base 5. And from here, log of uh, logarithm, that is log of uh, a to the base a is equal to 1. Since we're having a base with a common base, the same base, that is equal to 1. Okay, so we're applying this to this right side of the equation. So the right side of the equation is now 5 squared plus x times 1 or leave it just like that. And then the left side is x log of x to the base 5. And from here we're dividing the whole equation by x. So this is divide by x, divide by x, divide by x. So this now cancel. This is now left side is log of x to the base 5 equals 5 squared divided by x plus 1. So from here, I'm introducing another variable in place of x. That is now x, let x be oh, 5y. So I'm introducing another variable, y. So in place of x, substitute that value on here. So this is now log of 5y to the base 5 is equal to 5 squared divided by 5y plus 1. And uh, on the left side of the equation, we're using the one of the rules of a uh, logarithm, the common logarithm, that is product rule. Since we had this 5 times y over here, 5y, product rule. So slug of a times b is equal to log of a plus log of b. So we're using that one here. So this is now log of 5, so base 5, plus log of y to the base 5 equals 5 squared divided by 5y. That is now cancel the square, cancel the 5. This is now 
5 divided by y plus 1. And from here, if you notice this one right here, log of 5 to the base 5 is equal to 1. Since from the formula, log of a to the base a is equal to 1. So in here, so this is now 1 plus log of y to base 5 is equal to 5 divided by y plus 1. So from here, we cancel this one. So this equation now becomes log of y base 5 is equal to 5 divided by y. From here, we get rid of the, uh, the denominator y. That means we're multiplying the whole equation by y. So it is now the equation now y log of y base 5 equals 5. So in here, exponent rule on the, on the logarithm, x log of uh, a to the base b is equal to log of a to the base b exponent x. So in this case, the left side of the equation, we're putting y as an exponent now. So this is now log of y to the power of y base 5 equals 5. And from here, the equation can be written the same way as from the, uh, the logarithm formula. That is log of a base b equals to c. Therefore, b raised to c equals a. So we're using that one right there. So in this uh, equation, this becomes now 5 raised to 5 is equal to y raised to y. Now, if you notice, the base and exponent are the same. The same thing on the right side of the equation, y is to y. We have another uh, exponent rule that is uh, a raised to a is equal to b raised to b. Therefore, a is equal to b. So this applies to this comparison. And now, therefore, 5 is equal to y. Or simply, y is equal to 5. So since y is the substitute variable for in, in place of x, from earlier, the value of x is uh, 5y. And since y is 5, so therefore, 5 times 5 is 25. So x is 25. That's the answer. And if we were to check our answer, we substitute this value of x over here to the original equation. From here, we were checking our answer. So that is, we're substituting the value of x to the original equation. So where x is equal to 25. Okay, so we're putting the value of x in the original equation as substitution. So that is now x divided by 5, that is 25 divided by 5 raised to the power of x is 25. And is that equal to 5 raised to 5 squared. From here, 25 divided by 5 is 5 raised to 25 is equal to 5 raised to 5 squared, that is 25. So, so this just confirmed that the value of x, x is equal to 25, is the correct answer. Alright. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.